an obscure hero from the Charlton universe that was bought up by DC, and a wrestler who has bored me to tears come together in something that I was not prepared for. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a quick review of the first three episodes of Peacemaker. Hello everyone and welcome to Infinite Realms. Now I want to preface this little review with one major important point. I hate John Cena. I mean, I cannot stand him. I I was that guy that would sit in the arena whenever the Cena chance came up and I would say, Cena sucks. I've never liked the movies he's been in. I've never liked him as a wrestler. My favorite wrestling mo uh, memories are when Rob Dan Van Dam beat him for the world title and when Edge beat him for the title after the Survivor Series. This is very important to you. I've never seen a movie I like with him in it. I am not a fan of John Cena. I don't like John Cena. I want that to be very clear. The reason I want this to be very clear is literally three episodes of Peacemaker have changed my mind about John Cena. That is how good it is. now. Of course, I saw the Suicide Squad, and I did enjoy seeing it in that part, and it really amazed me. I was really surprised by that. But then I got to watch Peacemaker, and oh my word, I, it's really rare for me to review a television a streaming show before it's all out, but this has been so amazingly good. I had to say something about it now. I'm already giving it five stars. It's just amazing. And before I go any further, I'm, I'm going to talk a lot about John Cena because this was a big deal to me. But um, the rest of the cast is really excellent. They really play their parts. It's really done, and it's, you know, typical James Gunn kind of stuff. I mean, if you like Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, if you like the Suicide Squad, you need to watch this. This is fantastic. The opening credits to the show... Uh, which uh, is a song and dance number and Cena sells it. I mean, it's amazing, uh, but the whole cast is in the uh, song and dance. I'm going to link that down in the description below for you to see it if you've not seen it. The, the opening to this show is just phenomenal in and of itself. So as I said, I was never have been a fan of John Cena, just not. Um, and that's, I'm not going to get into all the whys and hows and every bit. But here's the point that changed my mind. I now, of course, I did see the Suicide Squad. I remember when he had when John Cena had the fight as Peacemaker with uh, Flag. That I was sitting there thinking, "Wow, I kind of dig John Cena in this role." I mean, I don't like John Cena, but I kind of dig him in this role. It's perfect for him. And so, when I heard there was a Peacemaker show, I was kind of like, "Meh, so what?" And I just sat, I sat down one morning and I just, after it premiered, I just said, let me give it a shot. And right off the bat, I was impressed. Um, Cena is not afraid to play the buffoon, which is actually charming in some ways. Um, but I think the big moment came in, I believe, the second episode. Um, after the infamous singing into the dildo incident, which if you've not heard about, you need to watch this show. It was pretty, it was pretty funny. Sadly, John Cena singing into a dildo in his tidy whities is not the weirdest thing I've seen in the past two years, but that's beside the point. Anyway, Peacemaker is trying to escape an apartment complex surrounded by cops and he's jumping from balcony to balcony and each and every one of them he lands hard on his shoulder which at the beginning of the show you're told um, needs rest uh, because it was severely injured in the Suicide Squad. I'm trying not to spoil this too much for you but this is too great not to pass up. Anyway, um, 
every time he lands and he's like oh and you can you, you just feel it it's just amazing how hard he hits the sound and everything the motion is perfect until finally he ends up almost one story up off the ground and he slips again and falls down and I am laughing hysterically now at this point I bring all this up because something occurred to me while I'm watching this this is John Cena this is the tough guy he is showing a lot of vulnerability here that a lot of action stars would not show I, I can't imagine The Rock doing something like this I can't imagine Vin Diesel doing something like this um, you know, you, it just doesn't fit with them to do something like this. And I'm sitting here going, wait a minute, this is interesting. And I came to the realization, you know, he, you know, most action stars, they guard their, their personas. And Cena was not afraid to be vulnerable, and he was completely vulnerable. And, I mean, in several scenes, he's a buffoon, and he's, um, but he's a likable character at the same time. It's really a strange combination. It's only James Gunn could make this. I can say that with unequivocally. Only James Gunn could make such a buffoon so relatable and so rootable. So I'm going to wrap it up there because uh, this is just a quick, a very high recommendation. Five stars right off the bat. Um, the first three episodes are five stars. I, I don't imagine this slowing down anytime soon. Give Peacemaker a shot. It is just phenomenal it's one of the best things i've seen so far it's just great so i hope you've enjoyed this run with infinite realms and join us next time don't forget to like and subscribe